A very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning in to Pollum Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Pollum Update. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Elena Sanchez. It is Wednesday, June 14. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices rose on Tuesday as China, the world's second-largest crude oil-consuming country, cut a short-term lending rate to accelerate post-pandemic recovery and boost consumer spending in the world's second-largest economy. The rise in prices was also triggered by a decline in the value of the US dollar. Brent crude prices rose by $2.45 settling at $74.29 per barrel. While WTI futures increased by $2.30 settling at $69.42 per barrel. On Tuesday, open spec NAFTA prices fell by $9 per metric ton at the $535 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride. In polyvinyl chloride. This week, PVC prices declined in Asia. The price downtrend was triggered by subdued demand sentiments coupled with lower import offers from overseas suppliers pulled prices down in the region. A week-on-week -week fall in upstream energy and ethylene feedstock values further exerted a bearish pressure on price levels in Asia. In China, PVC prices were assessed at the $750 to $770 per metric ton CFR levels, a fall of $10 per metric ton from the previous week. In India, PVC prices were assessed at the $760 to $800 per metric ton CFR levels, a drop of $10 per metric ton from last week. In Southeast Asia, PVC prices were assessed at the $750 to $780 per metric ton CFR levels, a week-on-week -week decline of $20 per metric ton. In polypropylene. This week, PP prices declined across the Asian region. Prices were pressured lower on account of an oversupply situation and weak demand sentiments. A few buyers were seen handpicking suppliers who could give them fair price deals. A slight uptick was witnessed in prices as some producers in China carried maintenance turnarounds at their plants. Some suppliers diverted their material to other export markets in anticipation of better netbacks. In polyethylene. This week, LDPE and LLDPE prices fell in Asia while HDPE prices were assessed lower in parts of the Asian region. Pricing sentiment is likely to remain bearish on account of the demand outlook expected to remain sluggish in the near term. The onset of monsoon in India is likely to dampen demand. There was not much progress in import discussions in China on account of high inventory pressure with traders at Chinese ports and a persistent depreciation in the value of the Chinese yuan. The Pakistani market witnessed a slight purchase momentum as concerns grew among buyers regarding possible restraints in procuring letters of credit. Our special newsreel today is sponsored by PlexConnect. PlexConnect 2023 is a unique business networking platform which will connect global buyers with Indian suppliers. The show especially focuses on inviting selected international buyers of plastics who will be invited to meet Indian exhibitors for their sourcing requirement. The first ever export-focused event for plastic. Established since 1955, the Plastics Export Promotion Council, PlexConsul, is sponsored by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Department of Commerce, Government of India. PlexConsul continues to remain engaged in promoting India as a major sourcing hub for the plastics industry opening new bilateral trade opportunities for the Indian and global plastics industries. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me Elena Sanchez, from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.